I want to talk to you today about a warning. Not, not so much a warning, but just give you a heads up once you've decided to make that journey to better yourself, not only physically, but also mentally and spiritually, especially with the new year coming around the corner, you may be looking at and setting some new goals. And one thing that's going to come with that is people who, for lack of a better term, are, you know, haters, haters on you trying to improve yourself. And this is something that was recently just brought to my attention. I'm not brought to my attention, but just recently brought to the front of my mind because I was going through my Instagram account and looking at all the guys who had posted photos of themselves starting for Spartan Rises, which is the workout program you can get for free at SpartanRises.com. And it was interesting to see some of the comments of their friends. Like some were encouraging and say, hey, good luck. Hope you hope you knock it out of the park, etc." And some were like, what are you doing? You're weird, you're crazy, so on and so forth. And it just got me thinking that, again, whenever you're looking to better and improve yourself, there's, people are always going to have something to say. And there are a couple wrong responses when people, um, whether, it's, whether it's a comment or just talk to you or, or a glancing remark when people say things that are potentially negative. And the first wrong response is to get angry or try and gauge back with them and fight them back because that's, that is a lose-lose situation and you don't even want to go down that mudslide. So don't, so don't do that. But the second response is kind of to go to the other extreme where you're like, well, screw them. I'm going to show all of them. I'm the best ever. And it's like you're kind of like riding this, this mini wave of hatred to kind of drive you towards your goal, which that's not really any better uh, than the other option. So I encourage you, don't do that. But instead, when you, when you get confronted or when you get run into some haters, which they will find you, uh, all you have to do is just say, man, you know, it's a shame that they feel that way. There's nothing I can do about their thoughts. I'm just going to keep working on myself and making myself a better man. And that's all you want to do. Like you don't want to take your, your thoughts, your investment, your time and your energy and, and waste it by putting it into something that's negative. You know, you wouldn't take money and just, well, I hope you wouldn't take money and just flush it down the toilet, you know, throwing it away. You know, that's, that investment is going to leave you broke. And it's the same thing with your thoughts and your energy. Now, it might be a little bit harder, like because it's not tangible, we don't think about it as much, but they're way more important than money. And so you don't want to be investing them in other people's negativity, which again is going to happen anytime you're trying to better and improve yourself. So don't get angry at them. Don't, you know, fight back with them. Just say, you know, just say to yourself, man, I hope, you know, maybe one day he'll change his mind or she'll change her mind or man, that's too bad they feel that way. But that's their choice. And it's not your job, it's not my job to change other people's thoughts. But we're here together on this journey to improve ourselves. And I just want you to be aware that, especially if you're just getting started, that's going to happen. Because it kills so many guys um, and girls you know, who are training. It, they can be, it's amazing what, you know, their friends or people around them the impact that they have as far as stopping them from making that progress. So don't, so rule number one is don't listen to that and just listen to yourself and know that you're investing in yourself and getting better. And the other thing to keep in mind is, you know, if you look at the news, what's, what's popular in the news almost all the time is negativity, right? Because for whatever reason, humans were just attracted to it. Like we can, we can talk about, uh, you know, bad things all day long. So negativity is kind of normal and being normal, is not you know being ripped being in shape being in super good shape and taking care of yourself is not normal like it's not normal to do that it's not average now we're not we're not saying like somebody you know one person's better than the other because they're in more shape i'm just saying that it's not normal for somebody who to be in super good shape and so if you want to be that guy you know who's super confident and in great shape you have to understand, okay, it's not normal, so I have to think kind of the opposite of what most people do. And what do most people do? Like based on the news, they focus on negativity, they're attracted to negativity. And so you have to train yourself to go the other way. And it's, it's hard, man, it's not easy. Like it's not something that one day you're like, huh, I'm just gonna not think about negative things anymore and my life will turn around. No, it's, it's just like working out, except it's you know, mental gymnastics and mental weightlifting where you have to continually refocus your mind and focus on the positive, focus on what you're working towards and not let, you know, you kind of drown out 
the negativity of others without sending hatred their way because we don't want to fuel it. So just some kind of well wishes, you know, again, with 2015, I'm really excited. We've got a lot of great videos coming out, so I hope you'll, you'll join me on this journey. Subscribe if you haven't already. That way these videos come right to you. Chin up, lift hard, and remember, never retreat, never surrender, and keep moving forward.